all about celebrating women and fashion. And what about the three for men? Are they also women? Uh, <laughs> no, they are not. I feel a designer has to have a signature. And every collection is tough to do something different, keeping the signature there. But then we still try and we try really hard. You brought back a lot of metallic, a lot of surfaces, a lot of uh, unusual fabrics that you created. So uh, it's a just love of uh, fabric, texture and structure together. I think fashion should be something which is wearable and something which is amazing, which is fashion, which is comfortable and makes you feel amazing. I've been studying this Instagram account about how cacti bloom. So I mixed the prickly cactus with orchid creepers, worked on very fluid fabrics, went back into block printing. So there's a lot of stuff together, but visually it can be very balanced on very fine fluid fabrics. So they're sheer and when they're layered, they create, you know, even a three dimensional effect. It's kind of a beachwear collection, but I think that you can work with pajamas outdoors. I think there's less of a borderline now between what you wear inside and outside. So that's what I try to do. Shama, you'll start. No, of course not. I interject. There was a lot of androgyny. That was something which we've been talking about for a few seasons now. Gender not being a thing anymore. We've played with more 3D surfaces. Uh, we've also introduced a range of clutches and bags with our classic athleisure details. The clothes uh, have a much happier vibe. It's the need of the day with so much going on in the world. When you go on that rack to pick some brand, the first thing that it should do to you is it should make you feel happy.